So today's shoot, we're using a 24 inch Okta and a 36 inch strip box. And I wanna cover some of the misconceptions that are put out there through YouTube and other places um, and commenters and so forth that, you know, the, the, the first one, and I wanna get this right out of the way, is like a, a speed light can't fill a strip box. I, as you will see with this shoot, it fills it just fine. Um, you know, I, I hear all of it with, you know, pro photo, they have a flat head, so that can't fill a, a soft box. You have to have a bare bulb or an extruded bulb. It's, and there's no difference. I, I'm just gonna get that right out of there. There's just no difference. Uh, same thing with like, when you're using a deep octa, a parabolic um, octa box. You know, everybody's like into the whole parabolic thing and they put the diffuser on the front. Once the diffuser is on the front, it's no different than any other soft box in the world. The diffuser itself is creating your light, nothing else. I don't care how deep it is. It could be three feet, four feet, 20 feet deep. It's not gonna change it with a diffuser on the front. These misconceptions, uh, I just think are, are unfair to beginners uh, and they listen to them. Um, like today, I'm using a Tamron lens. It's a wonderful lens. I can throw two photos up with two different camera systems and two different lenses and no one's going to be able to tell which one's which. I don't care who you are or if you think you can, you can't. It's just not possible in print form or media form for that matter. Um, you're not going to see a difference. The equipment that you use, the equipment that you love, that's all that matters. And those little things, when you pixel peep on your computer, you're the only one that's gonna see anything. The end user will never see a difference between a Nikon, a Sony, a Tamron. A, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It really, really doesn't matter. Now there are those choice few lenses that have that look, but it's still incomparable to a similar look on another system. That being said, um, let's get into the shoot. I wanna go over some of the things I did, how these things work just with little speed lights. Yes, you can do it. And this amazing little lens that's, you know, maybe a third the price, maybe half, I don't know, of a Sony. I love Sony glass. I think it's the best. I just think it's amazing glass. And I love that they keep the sizes uh, manageable. Um, you know, I got really excited when Nikon came with that large mouth. Uh, you know, I was thinking, oh wow, this is going to mean smaller lenses because they have more room to work with. And the lenses actually became bigger <laughs> than they were with the F mount. Um, but Sony, Sony has maintained their sizing, um, whether it's a Tamron or a third party, it doesn't matter. But I, you know, I, I love these lenses. I think they're fantastic. But yeah, to, so today we're using just two speed lights again. We're going to fill a strip box with light with just one speed light. And we're going to use a Tamron lens that I promise you, the images look fantastic. Uh, they're great pieces of glass. Um, and they don't cost much. And can you use this professionally? Because it's a Tamron, it's not a Sony. I use it professionally. <laughs> no issue with it. Um, they're great pieces of glass. So, you know, if you can get this for the price that it is, why not? Anyway, let's get into the shoot and see how we do. I'm really hoping you guys aren't getting bored with these type shoots with these small speed lights and uh, modifiers. And I'm using three speed lights, I apologize, because I do have a backlight for these. Which really interesting is that um, HVL F46 with the you know wide angle diffuser uh, popped out on the on the flash is covering the backdrop really well, and it's only about two and a half, maybe two feet away from the backdrop, and I get full coverage on it. Um, so I really like that, um, and it's not. I think it's at half power, or yeah, I, I believe I put it at half power. And that's the other thing, like, like these AA batteries last through an entire shoot without issue. I, I think this is my second shoot on this set. Um, and I, you know, have an eight bay charger, they charge up like nothing. Anyway, that being said, you know, when people say that you can't use these for this and, you know, a speed light's not going to fill up a, 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 a strip box, just don't listen to the noise. Um, you're listening to stupid most of the time. I, 
I've been doing this for 42 years and you know, whether it's a speed light or my big pro photo D2s, uh, you can still get great images out of anything you're using. You know, yeah, I have to go up in ISO a little bit and, you know, uh, maybe stop down a little less. But if you're getting images that you love, what does it matter? And the lens, I mean, this lens I think is fantastic. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's sharp. Um, I'm not doing charts or shooting walls, but, you know, when I zoom in on the images, she's sharp. I didn't have a missed photo. Everything was in focus. Uh, what more could you want? And, you know, what is this lens, $700 or $800? Whatever it is, it's, you know, it's not 2000 you know, for the 24 to 70. Am I missing that four, four millimeter, whatever the hell? I, no, I'm not, I'm not. Now, if I was at an event, you know, if, and if I take the 28 to 70, I'm taking a 20 millimeter as well. I have that uh, Sigma 20 millimeter that I absolutely love. I have that in my bag all the time when I go to an event because I do get stuck with, you know, large, large groups sometimes. And, you know, 28 is not going to cut it. I don't want to shoot two photos and put them together and post. So, you know, that comes in handy. But this lens is spectacular. I think it's, you know, it focuses fast. Uh, the images are sharp, beautiful rendering. Um, I, I love it. I think the color is good on it. I think the sharpness is good on it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, you know, it's a, it's a solid lens. I don't know how the first version was. I, I've never tried it. Um, you know, only got into these with the, uh, the, with the second version, the G2 model, but it, you know, it's fantastic. Now, again, this strip box with the grid on it, I'm probably at one sixteenth power and look at that's a filled, <laughs> filled with light strip box. No issues whatsoever. Yes, it will fill a strip box. And remember, you know, if you don't have enough power in these, you can throw two speed lights in each one of these with this MagBot system. It'll work just fine uh, if you need that much more power. Um, or if you're, you know, if you're shooting outside in the sunlight and you want to compete with the sun, you know, throw throw two speed lights in one of these. It works great. But one speed light in each. Um, now, I moved that backlight to the side because, I, you know, she wanted to move around a little bit more, and I don't want to worry about, like, uh, post-processing the, the leg of the... Um, or the shaft of the light stand in, in, in post-processing. I don't want to have to get rid of it. So I just moved it to the side. I want to see if I can get full coverage on that backdrop like this. And it just angled it, you know, to sweep across the backdrop. I, I'm not even, you know, it's a little bit lighter on the left side. You know, I can fix that in post. It really doesn't matter. But I don't mind the look anyway. So, you know, what does it matter? Um, but it's filling it. It's filling the backdrop with white. It works great. And I did not touch the backdrop in post. Um, I retouched her skin a little bit in post. Um, I didn't touch color. I didn't touch, well, I did adjust, uh, some of the exposures, you know, cause I, I was off a little bit. I am using manual flash in this one, not TTL. Um, but the photos come out great. I love them. Now for these, I threw the little gels on cause I just wanted to play. And, and when it was to the side, I wasn't getting great even coverage, you know, with the gels. Um, you can definitely see a difference and you can see a difference here up in that top right corner. But I, again, I don't mind it. I think the, the colors are nice. They look pretty. Um, you know, white backdrop, throw a gel on, change it to pink. <laughs> it works. Uh, so I had no issue with that whatsoever. Um, but you know, this is a nice setup. I mean, you know, if I was uh, getting started, um, I mean, literally everything in my studio can be replaced by this, except for my 1D2, which I need for commercial. Uh, other than that, I, I, I think I can do most of my work with, with speed lights without question. Um, and this setup, I, I, these these MagMod uh, soft boxes are really really nice, and they don't have an inner diffusion diffusion panel. Um, and when I look at the light coming out of these, it's it's pretty even coming out of that front diffusion. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, you know, I don't know how they did it, but I don't care how they did it. They work, um, and the the photos come out beautiful. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, but just you know. Take what you hear on YouTube with a grain of salt, uh, because a, a lot of people that that spread this stuff d really don't know what they're talking about or don't use this stuff. Um, you know, it works. You don't need a a, a bare bulb to fill a a, a soft box. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always.